Hello, and welcome to today's video. In it, we'll be discussing the topic of quantity takeoffs for cast-in-place concrete in tackle structures. We'll be focusing on two new report templates set to be released in version 2023, Service Pack 8, in the US environment. This video will cover how these reports work, how to ensure your model objects are properly organized, as well as finding additional guidance for quantity takeoffs using these reports. So with that, let's begin. The new reports are called 310 CIP Takeoff. You can find them in the Reports tool under the Drawings and Reports ribbon for the US environment. These templates create an Excel report of the data associated with your concrete objects or your modeled reinforcement. And there is a version for using them with either phases or building hierarchy. Now, if you've used either one of these tools, the report's gonna break down the objects using that structure. The reports provide header information, which is taken directly from the fields in the project properties under the file menu. Each version provides an overall breakdown of the objects for the major quantities, such as concrete volume, contact surface area, and rebar weight and then it provides an overall sum at the bottom. The next portion provides a more detailed breakdown of the concrete and any reinforcement that you have modeled. This breakdown is organized by object name and then material grade. Each one of those sections provides the quantities associated with that object type. The concrete information includes the mark number of the concrete object, profile of the object, and the quantity typically associated with that type. For instance, the linear foot of a wall or strip footing. Next, we'll provide the contact area. The contact area is a calculation being performed by the report template and is specific and independent to different object types. We've documented how this is being contacted on our technical user assistance page. Check the description of this video for a link for that information. Lastly, we'll also provide the cubic yardage of concrete volume, as well as the weight of any rebar that has been modeled. If you have modeled your reinforcement, you will get a breakdown of that rebar by either straight bars or bent bars with grade, size, shape, name, and weight in pounds. This continues to repeat for each elevation, providing a summary at the bottom. The breakdown will be provided for each phase or level until the report is complete, either for your entire project or a portion that you have selected. Now, in order to have your project broken down by phase or by level using the building hierarchy, you must apply these tools to your project. Now, you can do this as you model or once you're finished modeling or even before you start. Phases are found on the Manage ribbon and you can create a numerical identifier or phase and associate objects per phase. Just remember that only one object can be on one phase at a time. So be deliberate about how you choose your phase numbering. We have additional resources on using phases and models. We'll link to a video here in the description for your reference. For building hierarchy, which is also found on the Manage ribbon, you establish a site, a building, and then levels within that. You can also specify specific areas. Now the report for building hierarchy will break down your project by level. You can provide a name, a start, a top and bottom elevation of the level, and you can do as many as you like. If you prefer to sort your quantities based off of building elevation and traditional building structures, building hierarchy may be the tool for you. Now, that's how we break down the objects in the report, but how do we ensure that the right object is being calculated correctly? Well, we do this through the part presets. Each of the tools found on the concrete ribbon provide different presets for you to use. Columns, beams, walls, footings, all have different presets you can select from. The report templates for 310 CIP takeoff utilize the part prefix on each object to identify it correctly. So it's important to make sure you're using the correct presets when creating your model objects. If you're creating your own presets, we recommend that you utilize the presets provided in the US Imperial environment as your starting point and then modify from there. Further information on prefixes, contact area calculations can be found on our Tecla user assistance page. Just search for US contractor quantity takeoff. When using these reports, you're going to want to ensure that the report is set to output in an external viewer. 
and not on an internal dialogue of Tecla structures. This is true of all Excel-based reports. You can do this right in the reports dialog box by switching to the options tab and where it says show report, change the drop down to with associated viewer. Otherwise, you're going to see HTML pop up in a window as opposed to the report being populated to Excel. So keep that in mind before you start creating. This video is merely an introduction to the report templates and the basic functions in which they provide. To help users better understand how to get the most out of their quantity takeoffs through Tecla structures, we've put together a user assistance article that is dedicated to using these reports for quantity takeoff. It's entitled US Contractor Quantity Takeoff. There's introduction sections, explains what it is versus an estimate, how to use Tecla for that, what types of quantities you're going to be getting outside of Tecla, major considerations for getting accurate and reliable quantity takeoffs using these reports and ways to think about your models through major considerations. We also provide general approaches to modeling cast in place concrete, tips on providing quantities through reporting, as well as additional considerations that you may want to keep in mind when doing quantity takeoffs. And lastly, a section that kind of wraps it up all together. We highly recommend that if you're interested in concrete quantity takeoffs through Tecla structures, you review this article in conjunction with using the reports, as it will act as a guide for you to get the most accurate and reliable results. This concludes our early look at the new quantity takeoff report templates and their use. Thank you for watching. Want to learn more about this topic or how to get started with Tecla structures? Just check out the video's description for links to our user assistance page, getting started guide, and online.